Hi, <laughs> this is the second part of the CSS3 keyframes animation rule tutorial. In the second part, I'm going to show you more about the animation property and how to rotate the ball. So, coming <coughs> back to W3 school site, we looked at binding the animation rule um, to the div, the page element. Um, but if you scroll down, the animation properties, uh, there are a range of properties. Um, what we used was a shorthand version of uh, the, the full version. And what I'm going to do now is replace the shorthand version uh, with the full version. So if I come back into my text editor, there is the shorthand version and with just animation as the property. Now if I replace that, uh, there is an animation name property, an animation duration property, and so on. Okay, quickly going through these. Uh, the name of the animation is the name of the animation rule, which I changed to bounce. The animation duration is how long the animation takes. I'm changing that to one second. Now, uh, to give more natural animation, uh, the change is not usually linear. When a car travels at 30 miles an hour, it doesn't suddenly start at 30 miles an hour and stop at 30 miles an hour. It usually accelerates up to 30 miles an hour and decelerates for stopping. So to make... Um, animation more realistic, usually a Bezier curve is used where um, the object uh, accelerates to begin with, then goes at a constant speed, then decelerates at the end. Um, linear means it won't do that, and I, I want linear, so I'm going to leave that on that. Okay, normally uh, when the animation is bound to the page element, as soon as the page is loaded, the element will be animated. Uh, there's two things you can do if you don't want it to run on page load. You can add a delay and you can pause it. And by pausing it you could use JavaScript then uh, link to a button say to run it when you want to. Okay, I'm not going to use that today. I'm not going to use the delay now, how many times the um, the animation is looped through, the iteration count? Uh, infinite means it just continually loops through the animation. You can put any number there. Uh, a large number would effectively be like infinite anyway. Uh, WebKit animation direction alternate. This is handy for a bouncing ball because uh, as it's looping through, um, the repeats of the animation, it will reverse the direction. So instead of having to reverse the direction ourselves, if you put animation direction alternate, it will bounce back and forwards for you, which is handy. Uh, which is better, putting all these separate animation properties or having the shorthand version of it? Uh, it's a matter of taste, really. Obviously, it's slightly quicker to load in the browser if you. Uh, if I put this back to the shorthand method, the m most important thing is to remember the order. It must be in the correct order. Parameters can be missing, but they must. Uh, the parameters that are there must be in the right order. Uh, except for obviously the duration. Because duration defaults to zero by default, uh, you wouldn't have an animation without the duration. So the name and duration are critical, but the others can be left out. Uh, and the ones that you put in must be in the correct order. So there is the shorthand version of it. D 
these can be deleted and just see if that works so now I've got uh, linear motion I've got uh, it alternating and that improves the animation okay now adding rotation in <laughs> CSS3 you have 2D transforms uh, and the t 2D transforms are translate to move something rotate scale to make something bigger skew to skew it matrix a more uh, detailed version of the above uh, now obviously uh, I can use translate and rotate if I come back to my text editor uh, I think the best thing to do here is to uh, here's one that I did earlier so if I open it so if we compare these the from and to uh, in the, without rotation I use the left property and to move it across now if we look at the from and the to uh, I've used transform and I've used the tro uh, translate X to move from 0 pixels to 200 pixels uh, but now I can also add the rotate uh, pr uh, value 0 degrees to 180 degrees if I now link to that version of the style sheet and I run the browser uh, remember to save first run the web page in Chrome there we get the rotate as well okay uh, now what I haven't done is look at uh, at the moment there are only two keyframes but uh, in most animations that you do you might want to have more than two keyframes and we'll be looking at that in the uh, next tutorial so uh, I'll sign off this one um, there is the code all the files I'll put on my website freemovies.co.uk uh, at the interactive channel there uh, thanks for listening goodbye <laughs>